Today I want to share two things from my heart with the hopes to encourage your heart today. The first is if you want to make the play, you got to get in the game. And a huge portion of my heart is for women, for all people, but I have a true passion for women to come into a deeper, come into a relationship with Jesus or come into a deeper level of relationship and trust with Jesus. And it will never happen if I allow hurts to pause me. Got to get back in the game. You know, I've thought about the analogy of when I played basketball in high school. I was never really known as a good, uh, I'm short. So um, I was never known as a power forward or center. I was a point guard or shooting guard, but I wasn't even known for being a great shooter. Coach put me in the game because I was a great passer. I uh, um, I made a lot of strategic bounce passes into the power forwards that made the points for our team. And, you know, if I'm not in the game, I can't pass the ball to make the play. And um, which leads me to my second point that I want to share with you today is that if you play in the game, you're going to get hurt. And I know a lot of people say, well, gee, thanks for the encouragement, Steph. I'll stay isolated at home because I don't want to get hurt. I don't either. To be honest with you, I sometimes feel timid because I don't want to share myself and open up because I've been hurt before. I know that pain. It totally stinks. But what I also know is the joy of seeing someone's life click for the first time or a new understanding of a Bible verse click for the first time or maybe at a, in a different way. They know the verse, but it's clicked in a different way. And it makes it all the worthwhile. You know, I think back to high school basketball again when I was going in to get a rebound down and the, the woman in front of me, you know, she pulled the ball down and her elbow went right into my eye. I mean, my eye, when we got the ball and I was dribbling back down, my eye just swelled up so much I could barely see. I mean, it was instantaneously, and I said to the coach, I want to get out of the game. I, I just couldn't see. I mean, I could see with my one eye, but not the other. And, you know, if I was in the game, I never would have gotten hurt. And I wound up with a big shiner. Um, so, you know, that that wasn't the funnest day of my life. But, you know, if you're going to be in the game, you're going to get hurt. It's just part of life. You're trying to start a new um, workout regimen, you might get injured. But don't quit. You want to learn how to live a life to serve God. As you step out, and even as you continue through the years, you are going to get hurt. But you know what? If you're not in the game, you can't make the play. You can't see people know Christ, learn to love Christ, understand Him in different and, and deeper ways, unless you're in the game. So as you get in the game... And I don't mean to minimize the faith adventure or the life adventure by calling it a game. But unless you get in and be willing to play and expose yourself to maybe an elbow to the eye or the, the, the joy of making a right pass so that someone else can make the score, it's all part of it. You know, in 2 Timothy chapter 4, verses 3 to 5, this is the message translation. I want to read these two verses to you or actually three verses to you. But you, keep an eye on what you're doing. Accept the hard times along with the good. Keep the message alive and do a thorough job as God's servant. So today I want to leave you with two, two things that I wanted to share. Is that the first thing, you've got to be in the game to make the play. And the second is, if you're in the game, you're going to get hurt. And you're also going to have great joy. So no matter what I want to, I want to end with, don't quit.